Hello everybody, this is Jack from tofluency.com and in this English lesson you are going to learn how to pronounce the E, D sounds in English and this is when we are using regular verbs in the past tense when verbs end in ED. There are three different ways that we can pronounce these sounds. For example, we can say started, hoped and played. So we have the id sound, started. We have the t sound, hoped, hoped. And we have the d sound, played, played. Let's start with the id sound. With this sound, we add on an extra syllable at the end. And we use this when the verb ends in either a T or a D. So for example, I started it. I started it. So start ends in a T. So we just add that id sound at the end. I started it. I started it. You might have noticed there when I added it to the end of this sentence, we connected started it together. And listen for the stress too. Started it, started it. So the stress is at the start and the two words linked together. Started it. What I want you to do now is just to repeat after me. I started it. I started it. He wanted to go. He wanted to go. I added it. I added it. The next sound is the D sound. And this is for other verbs that don't end in T or D, but they end in a sound which is voiced. And this means when your vocal cords vibrate. So listen to this word, play, play. The vocal cords vibrate at the end. And when this happens, we just add a D sound at the end. Play, played. Play, played. So again, just repeat after me. He played very well. He played very well. He learned it very quickly. He learned it very quickly. She cleaned the house. She cleaned the house. And the final sound is the T sound. And we use this when the verb ends in an unvoiced sound. And this is the opposite of the D sound because we use the T sound when the vocal cords don't vibrate. So listen to this, kiss. Kiss. Kiss becomes kissed. Kissed. Now again, just repeat after me. She kissed me. She kissed me. I laughed. I laughed. They hoped. They hoped. The key to producing these sounds naturally while you speak is to get lots of practice. And to help you with that, I've created a blog post where you can listen to these sounds and repeat them. And I also have an exercise for you too. So click that link to learn more about that. If you're new here, please subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, then please like and share this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.